the second time tonight. Coopers won the first ball game by a score of 11 to 5, and they were pretty dominant. Well, I'll tell you what, the Ducks just never got rolling. Uh, they had a couple chances in that third inning, and they just didn't get going. And uh, they're going to have to put the pressure on here, or they got the ends again, it looks like. And this is the final game as Coopers has won seven games alone today. And here are the starting lineups now. First of all, for the Ducks, material. catching will be Vern Scarpelli. He'll wear number 32. Number 22 is a center fielder, Jeff Metz. Batting third will be number 21, L. Can. At third base will be double zero, Big Bill Dvorak in the cleanup position. Number five will be number 24, Rich Ross. He'll play short center field. We have an extra hitter. He's Mike Norris batting in the number six position. Batting seventh will be Ray Vaccario. He wears number five. He'll play left field. Batting eighth will be Jerry Kelleher. He's the shortstop. Batting ninth will be Rick Omenskisi. He's playing second base. At first base will be number 31, Larry Zacker. And the pitcher is Chip Borkowski. That's the lineup for the Ducks and for Coopers who come into the game winning seven games today. One more and they have it all. Leading off will be Frank Mastari. He's number 33. He'll play shortstop. Number 10 is Matty Gillen. He'll play second base. Kenny Cooper will be the extra hitter tonight. He's number 26. Number 44, batting cleanup is Big John O'Connor. Carries a fine tradition of softball. He'll be catching the ball game. The pitcher, the well-known number 6, Tommy Zarnick. And after him will be Bud Dorskin. He's the first baseman worried. Number three, Kenny Claus will follow him. He's number 12. Number four is Don Bianchi. He'll play third base, Joe Samoti. And then Mark Schuler round out the order for Coopers. And we're underway with the first pitch and Vern Scarpelli taking first strike one. Ball one, strike one here. Vern Scarpelli leading off the game. The winner to take home the top prize ground ball base hits. Excuse me, foul ball. Yeah, it was just a touch carried foul. away. About 15 uh, feet foul. No problem. Well, Tommy, it's good to be here. We got plenty of fans on either side down the lines. We got plenty of fans in the bleachers. A couple of big trophies standing next to us. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They had a beautiful weekend to play ball. I'll have to admit that. Now let's talk about the alternating ball rule if we can right now as Tommy Zarnick wants a new ball. When the ball goes out of play, uh, they rotate the balls as per the ASA to keep the game moving along smoothly. Coopers, who's won seven games today, have won six games earlier. That was in the spring in one day, and that's been their longest so far. They're going for eight right now as Vern Scarpelli flies out right there to Joe Samodi in center field. And there's one down. But they have won six games in their own tournament in Rolling Meadows, the Coopers tournament, where they won it. Yeah, that's uh, uh, Cooper Sporting Goods uh, host tournament from Rolling Meadows, and they played a uh, very good ball to win that. And here they are back again trying to take the World Series, the ASA National Tournament. Right here, here's Jeff Metz now standing in. He's a center fielder. In the first game, he was one for three. Tommy Zarnick on the mound, the man of many nicknames, known as Eggs, because he's from Hammond. Oh, he's not from Hammond. He's from Chicago. Is he? Yes. He told me he was from Hammond. Well, I think he's just uh, pulling your leg a little bit. I'll tell you what. He, his, his nickname's been Eggs for as long as I've known him. Uh, and always I, playing in Chicago. He got it from playing in Chicago. He's not from Hammond. And what about his new nickname? His new nickname, Oil Can Eggs. He was uh, given that moniker by uh, Mr. Bob O'Malley, uh, the manager of the Coopers. Uh, I guess uh, maybe there was an incident similar to the uh, Boston's Oil Can. Line shot right at Mark Forgetto, the short center fielder. A play that would have been hard to make without the glove. Tom, I want to point that out right now because every guy has gloves. Okay. Here we have a line shot. Mark picks the ball up right from the uh, tops of the infield dirt. Good play, Mark. And Mets had to hit the ball in fair territory because that's another rule we want to talk about. Foul to two strikes is an out. Well, in all 16-inch softball, 
in Chicago, that's true. Uh, you cannot foul the ball after two strikes. So here's Elkan, the 600 hitter, grounds right to Zarnik. He throws him out, one, two, three, nothing across. And we're at the, just the start of things here at the bottom of one. The Ducks have not scored. Cooper's is coming up. 